Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Audemars Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Now the most notable features on this TRD Sport is its heated front seats. You also have your backup camera as well as your lane departure alert. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota Tacoma TRD Sport. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see for this TRD Sport is its daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a closer look at your front hood you're gonna see your hood scoop and then just down below on your driver's side you have your plug-in block heater and you have your 17 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now taking a look on the mirrors you also have your integrated signal lamps as well as your foldable mirrors, vortex generators and one of the nice things with the TRD Sport is it does have the smart key system with it so with the smart key system you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once it'll lock all the doors automatically and then if you put your hand between the handle it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times and the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your grey cloth into your seat surfaces with your driver lumbar support. Taking a look just over on your left hand side, you're going to see your on and off switch for your rear cargo power outlet as well as your automatic headlights. And then on the inside of your driver's side door, you have your mirror controls and window locks, power locks, window controls both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your scroll function, volume control, voice recognition mode select, Bluetooth, scroll function for your multi-informational display, lane departure alert, and cruise control. Now the other nice thing is you do have the push button start, so all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the display here, you have a couple of different options on here, which include a digital speedometer with the distance to empty your trip info as well and then if we take a look just over on the right you're going to see your navigation as well as your audio lane departure alert as well as the tire pressure monitoring messages and then you have your settings for your pre-collision system lane departure alert and your settings menu now at the very top there you're also going to see an exterior temperature gauge and if we take a look now just over at your center dash as well as the touch panel display you're going to see a couple of different options on here so if we head into the apps menu you're going to find your navigation audio phone as well as a couple of other additional features so I'll just quickly show you what the navigation is just going to look like there just by closing in on it located just down below here you're going to see a couple of different options on here with your 4x4 select hazard lights heated mirrors and then you also have your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger with three different settings depending on how hot you would like it you have the dual zone climate control settings and then if we take a look just down below there you're going to see your ECT power as well as your open and close for your power rear window, USB and auxiliary and your power outlet. Now it's matted to an automatic transmission and taking a look at the very top there you'll find your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass and a couple of things you'll see at the top here include your traction control on and off, your lights and then you'll also find the sunglass case holder up here as well just for those days when it's quite bright outside while you're out driving. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo bed as well as your tailgate now located on your rear bumper you're going to see your three piece bumper so in the event that you damage the one section you just have to replace the one segment. Now located on the inside of the bumper you're going to see that 7 and 4 pin for your towing. Located just underneath the bumper you'll find the spare tire and then on the back of the tailgate you have the backup camera and the lock for the tailgate. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo bed just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now the nice thing is you do have that rear cargo power outlet in the back so the nice thing with that is if you want to plug in uh, your tools or a mini fridge or a couple of speakers while you're out at the lake or the cabin during the weekend you can do so. You have some storage space as well on the right and left hand side and then you also have that bed rail system as well. So the nice thing with that bed rail system is that you can readjust those cleats that you see on either side there. Place them all on one side of the bed rail system or take them out all together just depending on what your needs are for. Now you have some tie down areas just located on your left, right, front and back side where you can tie down some loose cargo just so it's not shifting around in the back of your bed while you're driving. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. 
The phone number is 780-410-2455, or please visit our website at sptoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.